Racing's been in my life since I was a kid. That's what I do. But there's something else that's been close to me. Video games. Now I've had the chance to make my own. I'm Jeff Gordon, and this is Excess Racing. Intense speed is what this track is all about. Outbreak your opponent on the inside. 270 degree bank turn. Slingshot your way past the others on the straightaway. Do you want to fly? Speed, control, and braking can make decisions quickly. The better you slide, the better you ride. Great without limits. If it starts to go around on you, ease out of that throttle, turn back into it, and start to pick up that throttle smoothly again and gain control. When you go to the brakes, the weight's going to transfer forward. That's going to allow you to turn the corner to the maximum potential. If you hit your apex right, the exit should be no problem. You should be able to carry maximum speed off the corner and swing all the way out to the wall and gain a lot of speed down that straightaway. Making contact can gain you a position, but it can also cost you valuable time and may even lose you the race. Overdriving the car can cost you a lot of mistakes. You need to learn how to just be smooth, be patient, let it come to you. Learn the racetrack, learn the race car, and the speed will come. It's important to find reference points on the track. One for braking, so you can find a point to get the maximum amount of braking out of the car. Another for the turning in of the corner. If you find these two reference points and go by them, you can be consistent every lap. If you're going to win the race, you got to learn how to pass. In order to pass, you need to set up your opponent, take advantage of the draft, take advantage of your cornering, and try to make a slingshot move right by him. To make a slingshot pass, you need to use the draft. You need to get up behind him, carry as much momentum and speed as you can, use it all the way up to their rear bumper, then shoot up beside him and make the pass. It's important to learn how to block. You've got to try to keep that opponent behind you. If you're going to get the victory, you've got to make your car as wide as you possibly can by learning how to block. Learn how to pass on the inside. The shortest way around the racetrack usually is the fastest, but also that banking can really be an advantage. So if you're going to pass on the inside and the car is using the banking on the outside, you got to learn how to slide up in front of them and take away their line. When you're passing on the outside, you're taking a longer route around the track. So this means you have to carry more speed and try to take the air off their spoiler. So you go into the corner, get to the outside of them, take that line away from them, carry a lot of speed and momentum off the corners to make the pass. Side-by-side -side racing. Side-by-side -side racing can be fun and exciting and put on a heck of a race. But it's important to have respect for your other competitors. When you're running side-by-side, -side, you have to know where they are at all times. Try not to pinch them into the walls. If your car gets damaged, you're going to have to adjust and wait for your car to heal. One of the great things about the cars of today is that they're self-healing. Isn't that cool? An 
awesome new feature of today's cars is actually being able to control the cars in flight. Air brakes and wings allow you to maneuver the car in flight, but you've got to get the car straight before you land. Intense speed is what this track is all about. It's an oval track with a choice of two paths at turn one. The most important decision is whether you want to take the high speed clover leaf or the slower and shorter turn one. Both routes can be fast if taken correctly. Using the clover leaf may be the best way to pass. It shoots you onto the back straightaway flying at speeds of over 350 miles per hour. Whichever path you choose, remember to watch the other drivers. 